Uh, dear student, as we have discussed about uh, seemingly uncorrelated regression analysis uh, and in a SOAR model, uh, you have the idea that uh, you have different models and you have to check whether their errors are correlated or they are not correlated. And for uh, checking the correlation among your error, the best approach is cross-sectional correlation. And you already have the idea about correlation, that correlation kya show karti hai. Isse hume idea ho jata hai correlation coefficient se, whether there is strong correlation, there is weak correlation, or there is no correlation. Like there are extreme cases, if the correlation is zero, it means there is uh, like uh, no correlation. And if uh, the value is close to zero, it means there is a weak correlation. And if value is one, it means there is a perfect correlation and if the value is closer to one, it means there is a strong correlation. So on the basis of correlation analysis, uh, we can gauge whether there is like uh, the best approach is SOAR model or the best approach is OLS. We kidder move karna hoga. Uske liye, again, uh, we have already discussed uh, the paper on Nigerian economy with bank lending and economic growth. Aur usme cross correlation ke liye, kis tarah usne analyze kiya hai uh, I want to share with you the research paper on Nigerian economy. Dear student, this is your research paper and uh, in section 5.2, you have the idea of test for cross correlation uh, cor analysis and uh, they have like uh, discussed with you that this approach of SOAR was developed by Zellner in 1962 and the results of cross correlation is given in table 3 and table 3 mein jo bata raha hai ki kis tarah aapka Wo movement ho rahi hai, kis tarah unki association hai and uh, this article has explained that the cross correlation matrix shows high correlation coefficient of the residual among the equation across the sector which indicate that SOAR estimation is more appropriate than the OLS equation by equation procedure. Kyunke I have discussed with you that SOAR will apply like your best approach is FGLS and FGLS may aap errors ko correlation check kar sakte hai. And as far as the table number 3 is concerned, you have the idea, yes, this is your table number 3 in which you have the data on the correlation matrix of the residual. And uh, as you know that uh, real GDP is associated, in agriculture is associated with real GDP is equal to 1 because it's perfect correlation. There is no variable that variable can check correlation. Check ki but when we move it, from section 1 to section 2 to usme aap log dekh rahe hain ki there is 0.75 aapke jo second one hai this is 0.45 third one which is some sort of commerce is 4.45 and in services it is 0.65 means har variable dusre ke sath strongly correlate kar raha hai and these are not basically the variable uh, correlation this is correlation of the residuals उसके जो फाइव मॉडल्स हैं उन फाइव मॉडल्स के एरर्स या रेजिडुअल उसने फाइंड किए हैं एंड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ रेजिडुअल वैल्यू वो डिसाइड कर रहा है एंड एज यू नो दैट इन डिस्कशन दे हैव शोड दैट ऑल द वेरिएबल्स आर स्ट्रांगली कोरिलेटेड इट मींस द बेस्ट अप्रोच इज सो नॉट ओएलएस